Hello everyone, and welcome to Stasis. I'm the Chromulant Archer, and Stasis is a sci-fi horror adventure game um, played from an isometric perspective. Uh, should be interesting. It's a, a good old-fashioned point-click uh, sci-fi game with a horror bent. I expect to die quite a bit, and it will hopefully be entertaining. So let's jump in, see what we can see. Without a family, man alone in the world trembles with the cold. Andre Maroy. I'm going to do my best not to talk over the cutscenes. So we're on, we're near Neptune, we can't really be on Neptune, I suppose, being a gas giant and all, but we're near Neptune on a spaceship. Groom Lake, it looks like that's the name of the spaceship. The tentacles coming out the back. It's a nice, uh, creepy touch. <laughs> Not sure what purpose they serve, but stasis. It's like the beginning of that uh, the 1970-something's first Star Trek movie. Lots of long, slow tracking shots of the spaceship. Well, I think we may have found stasis pods. Success. Oh. Ew. Grody junk on the floor. Probably from the stasis pod. <laughs> A little unsteady. Welcome to the Game Corporation Stasis Club Suit. Please hold still while your biometric scans are completed. <laughs> Danger of pneumothorax. Seek immediate medical attention. Okay. Sounds like a good idea. Medical data storage is damaged. Formatting quantum storage device. Plug suit quantum storage device is ready for physical record storage. I don't know what that means. A smeared pool of some dark sticky congealed substance on the floor. What is this? Oh okay, yeah, that's just the menu, okay. Sorry. Cryo terminal. 
Marchek, J, batch number 165A, status cryostasis interrupted. Steam. The humid steam gives off a sickly sweet smell as it rises from the glass tube. John. Hey, that's me. This isn't my ship. Horrifying face is pressed against the glass of this pod, its skin pulled taut over its bones. Ew, gross. Inside the glass tube, a corpse hangs like a grotesque puppet, tangled in pipes and wires that once had provided life. Now it is no more than a lifeless husk. Oh, that's no good. If I send you over here, are you going to say anything about it? Oops. Oh, God. Yep. Elevated moral activity can be detrimental to your current state of health. Please stay calm. Contorted body inside this pod is suspended in a thick amber liquid that distorts its features. Alright, I just want to... Actually, let's check out the terminal that we just came out of. Nothing? Alright. Yeah, he's blasé now. My... My heart... Okay. Please seek immediate medical attention. I'm working on it, man. I'm working on it. Only sound in this room is a hiss of static from the monitors, then flickering light illuminates the leather chair, cracks in its surface, evident even beneath the shroud of dust that covers it. Alright. Get in the chair. Use the screens. What is this? It seems to be part, some part of the HUD, maybe? All right, I guess we're leaving this room. I wonder if I can control him with any other buttons, other than just pointing and clicking. Increased heart rate detected. Automated medical care systems are non-functional. Please seek medical attention. <laughs> Try and... Answer the questions, no, I can't control it with any other buttons. Spinning fan. The shadows from the slowly spinning fan lazily across the floor grades. Yep. That was an interesting musical cue. Hello. Holographic projector, chair, chair sits vacant, the leather split, with wear along the seams, rounded edge, corroding padding protrudes from the tears in the fabric. Okay. Blood stain. That's usually not a good sign. Alright, let's let's use this product check-in terminal. At least the computers work. Product storage. Product storage checklist. Uh, Marchek J, that's me. O positive, mail 38, stasis pod, personal transport ship intercepted en route to Titan Station. Espinza, one of three stasis pods. Alright, let's see. Anderson S. Uh, mining transport orbiting Titan, part of long term terraforming operations. Alright. Reserved for Project Kitchen Knife. Alright. Jackson P. Skate pod from down transport between Earth and Mars, one of four stasis pods. Oh, apparently this is, seems to be some sort of... Rescue? Returning transport, luxury chain, all hands lost. So this is some sort of rescue ship? Notifications. <clears throat> Notice. In addition to Dr. Essex, we are happy to welcome Sarah Salvatore, the head, uh, head nurse for the products product storage. It was a sad day when Nurse Daniels left us for greener pastures and she will be missed. Notice, as our cloning facility has been deemed too costly, we are happy to note that the product storage has now been upgraded to a level 6 facility. We are now the number one supplier of human specimens for the entire facility. After the unfortunate in incident in product 2 storage, we'll be undergoing regular upgrades and maintenance starting with a new lockdown security system. Thank you. Notice, two weeks ago a false security lockdown occurred in product storages 2 and 3. Kane Corporation terminated operations on both floors until cleanup crew can evaluate the situation. We regret to report that 17 crew deaths and, and the expiration of 12 unopened products occurred due to emergency 
venting procedures, huh? So we were not rescued. We were some sort of prod, like they were using us as some sort of products. Let's see if I can get to this. The words hollow projector embossed in metal on this piece of machinery, but the screen is smashed and looks beyond repair. Okay. Blood stain. Dried blood streaks the floor in a wide swath as if someone had been dragged or slowly crawled away. It's hard to tell whether it came or went from the infirmary door. Alright, we gotta go in here, I think. Because, you know, you want to go into the place with a big blood stain on the floor. It's always exactly where you want to go. Oh, cribs. Lovely. Got medical ventilator used to keep people alive. We've got medical scanners of some variety. Ventilator sits motionless and able to sustain life. Let's mess with the breaker box here. Because you know that that never ends poorly. Oh, something just powered up. Alright, let's try that again. Emergency life support active. Can you only do one of these at a time? Yeah, it looks like we only do one of these at a time. Alright, so let's see. Do we want um, life support, power, robotic surgeon? Well, we got power. Do we want robotic surgeon, doctmate scanner? Let's do that one, actually. Doctmate scanner active. Alright, because I think we need, to, uh, we need to find out what's wrong with us. Organic waste bin, All right? This equipment provides medical diagnosis of a specimen through non-invasive scanning procedures. Treatment is administered through nanite drugs cocked and delivered intravenously. Well, let's let's step into the machine that we don't know anything about. What could possibly go wrong with that? Doc may scanner active. <laughs> Multiple injuries detected. Emergency medical kit created. Excellent. Nanite solution, anticoagulant, and morphine combination suggested. Thanks, Doc. Thank you for using DocMate systems. Have a nice day. Oh, it's over there. Okay. Let's go get that thing. Sits on a glowing slab, automatically filled with required dosages of medication. Alright. Wait, what do we have here? Empty hypodermic syringe. Dogmate. So we'd use this, maybe? That. Aha! Full syringe. And we use that on him. Deep breath. <sighs> oh, screen went black. But, but dad, Ooh, flashback. Sandy said that if you have bad dreams and you can't wake up that, you'll be stuck in them forever. Well, I'll have a good talk to Sandy's parents. But is it true? Becca, don't worry, you won't have any dreams for the entire trip. But if you do, just squeeze Teddy and I promise they'll go away. Now legs up, lay down. There you go. Sweet dreams, my girl. No, wait, sing it. Sing the song. John, looks like we have a song to sing. Go to sleep, my baby girl, in your warm bed. Soon you 
Drift away, sleepy head. Dream of us, and you will see. Monsters can't harm you or me. Bet they can. Close your eyes again. And worry no more. Stars and the moons, they will pass us by soon. A new day will surely be upon you. John's not doing his part in singing this song. So go to sleep, my baby girl. In your world. All right, so they were on some ship that had, uh, they went into stasis for it. Clearly that didn't go the way they wanted. So drift away, sleepy head. You know, you could have just told her that we're going to have so many drugs in our system that we'll barely remember our own names. Uh, yeah. Somehow squeezing Teddy seemed a little more comforting than you'll be in a drug-induced coma. I don't know. I find drug-induced comas we kind of sudden. We're almost done here. Do I get a Teddy? Haha. <laughs> you, you get a hug. Rebecca, I need to. My, my wife, my child. I need to find someone. I need to get out of here. Agreed. Vital medical functions have been restored to benchmark levels. Hmm. Those product surgeons. That's probably we don't probably don't. I'm gonna. Oh, he's much faster now. Okay. So let's see, alright, we don't need the auto dock anymore, so let's turn on the power. And let's put on life support. Emergency life support active. I feel like the auto like the robotic surgeon was probably um a way to die. <laughs> I feel like that would have gone pretty terrible. I don't have anything anymore, right? Oh we have a uh, empty hypodermic syringe. That might come in handy someday. So we might have some power now. Alright, so we'll head back out this way. Attention. Due to the threat of external contamination, a security lockdown is in order. Please meet at your closest administration office for further instructions. Okay. We go this way? Hello? Apparently no, we can't go that way. Alright, how about back... Is this an exit over here? This looks like this is something over here. Aha! Here we go. That door works, good. Nothing to see here. Is anyone there? Heavy loader. Oh, we can we can do a little uh, little aliens action. Stay away from her, you bitch. All right. The fine layer of dust and leather oil, leaking oil underneath the loader appears to have been unused for a long time. What I floor lights. Floor lights seem to be standard for this level. Okay. No power. That's not gonna work. I got a freight elevator that's locked. We got a door over here that's locked. This one's open, but I want to see what the terminal might tell us. Anything? Security lockdown? Must be why there's nobody here. Maybe they were evacuated. All right, let's open this door. <sighs> Empty. Fuck, I just... I Where the hell is everyone? Who needs sleep? Refreshingly addictive. Juku Cola by the Kane Corporation. Dead tree stands bare in the corner of the room. Dried flowers surrounding its base. Emergency glass box. Can I open this? 
Seems like an emergency. Careful, dude, you're gonna hurt yourself. A note inside the empty emergency box reads, due to budget cuts, the fire act has been placed with this note. Have a nice day. That's not good. We asked customers what they thought about Kane Corporation's Jupicola. I love Jupicola. I love Jupicola. I love Jupicola. I love Jupicola. Alright, Kane Corporation Administration Terminal. Robert Freely. Notification to all general crew members. Product. Let's say, right, Administration Terminal. Robert Freely. This is stuck to it. Can't make sense of that. All right. The last truly great company wants to thank all employees for their dedication. All right, so let's start at the top here. Security systems. Security told us 14 days ago that they'd be rewiring the lockdown system. So for two weeks, we've had to deal with random system shutdowns. Two days ago, Peters was locked in the bathroom while it flooded. We only got him out this morning. I'm just thankful it didn't happen last Tuesday when hydroponics had the screw up with the poisoned mushrooms. Or we would have been painting the walls of the elevator with the crew level bathrooms. What was that? Um, what was that? Can I get out of here, please? Is that the radio? I think that was coming through the radio. Alright. Uh, maintenance was down for here for the final rewiring of the lockdown systems. It's all working except for the crossed wires, the central product storage system. Every single time a leak is reported in the storage tank system, resets instead of auto sealing the leak. It's nothing we can't deal with in the short term. I know it's going to take forever to get them back. Here to adjust it. All right. New doctor complaint. The new doctor in charge of cracking pods has complained about the surgical bot. Something about the tool selection. I told him just to log a complaint. Yep. That bot would have killed us. New personnel requests. I spoke to Sarah Salvatore, a nurse in the product storage, about getting in some new personnel to help with the opening of new stasis pods. The last nurse left due to emotional stress. I guess she had a breakdown when they cracked a pod and there was a kid inside. Dun dun dun. It's probably ours. Our daughter. Notification lockdowns. Just a note to remind all crew members that lockdown system is still connected to the storage tanks. If the system locks down, you can falsify a leak and it will reset. Oh, that's a good, that's a good idea. Bathrooms are now in working orders. So Peters will be back on duty in four hour shift rotations. Okay. Alright, so these are the doors. So we unlock this door. Boom. Notice. Maintenance door is unlocked. Lock will be engaged in three hours. Freight elevator is... Apparently we can't change the freight elevator. Alright, well we got the maintenance door unlocked. Let's go in the bathroom, see what we see. If there's the creepy voice on the radio again. No, nope, don't leave. Don't leave. Ah. Metal sink. Water streaks down the bank. Standard. Toilet. This. This disgusting. What did I just pick up? Wet, dirty towel. Hmm. Great. A clean metal seat. Let's look at the other ones. Surprisingly clean toilet bowl. Good to know the important stuff keeps on working. Flushing won't clean the smell accumulated over the years. We're just gonna flush all the toilets. That's just the thing we're doing. Okay. All right, so we got a rag, a gross, gross rag out of the toilet. All right, so let's go. This door is now unlocked. Let's see what we see in here. Warning. Air filtration system offline. Toxicity increasing to dangerous level. Hmm. Should probably fix that. Large red wheel might have a chance of turning if you give it all your all. Alright. Give it your all, John. <laughs> I don't think he's giving it his all. 
All right, we gotta find something to help turn it. I'm gonna guess that the gross rag is probably not gonna do the job. But if we find some sort of uh, lever, the air is getting bad, I guess. Uh, smell. Uh, it's, it's, it's sweet. Personal log of A. Brian, flight engineer, first class. All right, so back. I should say Andrew here. Andrew here. It's about 6 a.m. I'm absolutely exhausted. So this is the most advanced scientific research step in existence, huh? Bullshit. I've been here for only three months, and now I know why the previous guy quit. Leisure equipment, steam vents, circuit breakers, everything is at least one serious design flaw. Not only are the coolant systems just capable of failing, that's always a good idea, they're capable of at least four different types of fault, and I can only spot two of them in advance. The ship's been running for 50 years, and nobody's bothered to do any upgrades. Bottom line, the casings are shot, and they're going to need months of work to make them 100% safe. I've also pulled a muscle in my shoulder trying to rotate the pressure valves. Bastard needs to be turned three goddamn times. All right. Next. Simmons volunteered to be a research subject and has something has been off with him since he got back from the labs. I don't want to report him to security, but I'll keep an eye on him. Research department. Can't they use monkeys like everyone else? C-Sec sent me down to the ass end of the ship to fix the fluid storage vats again. Not too long ago, the other vats malfunctioned and started spraying that acidic shit all over the place. The bulkheads located down here and the entire maintenance crew dissolved. Ugh. They only found teeth. I'm not going home in a jar. I've killed, so I've killed the security system lockdown. If that thing so much as pisses that acid in my direction, the system will reset all the security procedures. Safety first. All right, so that guy set it up that way. All right. All right, we learned something. Empty barcoded crates have stacked against the yacht wall. Okay. Blue fluid tanks. So you should go to this one. All right, so we've got system failure screens here. Nowhere else to go. Empty crates, all right. Okay, so this place was not so helpful. I'll give it another try. I'll give it three tries. Come on, old man. One more time. Ah, there you go. Haha. Uh -huh. Alright, I'm gonna go back in here and look again. So here water drop falling now. Which is worth checking out. Anything different in here now? No. Okay. Alright, so where do we go now? Let me go back into this room and take a look at something. Anything different in here? Are you expecting a beautiful bouncy baby boy or girl? Speak to your nearest administrator for details on our Moth and Tots program. You could win an all expenses pay vacation to Titan. Competition is. Right, nothing different in here. Alright, let's go back to the main room and see if we see anything interesting. Yes, we over there. Ensure that you stay clean of parasites at all times. Stay clean of parasites at all times. I always try to stay clear of parasites at all times. Damn it. Oh, you know what I was going to do is, is go back. That's why I went in there. I knew there was a reason why I went in there. It was because I wanted to look. If I could unlock this. Alright, can't change that. Okay, never mind. Alright, it looks like double-clicking makes him run. 
So that's neat. Let's go back to the other place. Let's see if there's anything back here to see. Actually, hang on. No, oh, that's not that's nothing to see, okay. So a big blood spatter on the ground. I thought it might be worth checking out, but it doesn't appear to be. That door is still locked. I want to go back to the place where we started real quick. Alright, cryo tube, terminal. So can't really use these, okay. Alright, what time is it? Alright, I should probably stop here for today. I hope you're enjoying it. If you are, consider leaving me a like. Helps me out a great deal. And I'll see you guys back here later for some more stasis. Thanks so much.